But the, the reason that all this money is being brought back into the United States, that it's being repatriated, this is because of the Trump tax cuts. I mean, there's been independent analysis that said, well, listen, when they're not getting penalized by our tax system, when we have a competitive corporate tax rate, this is what happens. It brings business back to the United States. No, that's exactly right. I mean, under the Obama years, we had the slowest recovery since the Great Depression. And since then, the economy has just started to, to really have this livelihood about it again, where there's more economic activity. Even the second quarter of 2018 that ends today um, could be one of the highest in 15 years. Some are expecting it to be more than 5% GDP growth. That's just remarkable with unemployment rate at 3.8%, multi-decade decade lows. These are the type of things that we would expect from pro-growth tax reform under the Trump tax cuts. Right, and these are the type of things I think too, and this probably freaks Democrats out, that's probably why they're acting as hysterically as they are. These are the type of uh, things that people factor into their votes in elections, whether the economy is doing well, whether jobs are easy to get, whether advancement is happening, whether they're getting raises, whether the economy is healthy and vibrant, which it seems to be. And, and that's the thing too that I think is significant about this money being repatriated, is that it's not just a good thing for the business owners to have, uh, to have their business brought back here to the United States to pay taxes that are lower, it helps them create jobs. It helps them create jobs, which helps people in the United States be employed, have a paycheck, be able to feed their family. And that type of investment, I think, is invaluable. Excellent explanation. You know, some say that spending is what drives an economy, but you hit the nail on the head. Production drives economic growth. And so that's exactly what these tax cuts do. We had the highest corporate tax rate in the developed world. And we dropped that down to 21%. That's just a pro-growth reform. And Americans all over the country are benefiting from that. And it's, it's really a beautiful thing. And we want people to be more prosperous overall. We do, we do. All right, now on the flip side of this, the other economic news is about tariffs. We know the president likes to use tariffs as sort of a negotiation tool. I'm not a fan of tariffs in and of themselves. I don't think that they work economically. I'm willing to wait and see if some of his threats of tariffs on, uh, say, Canada are just part of a negotiation with Canada. But we're starting to see some negative consequences of tariffs that he has uh, put into play already. There are actually some businesses here in the United States who are saying, listen, the steel tariffs are uh, basically destroying our business. There's a company called the Mid-Continent Nail Corporation in Missouri that said that uh, they're going to have to lay off about 200 employees, that's about 40% of their workforce, uh, due to the increased steel prices of the 25% steel tariff. What do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely a free trader and tariff is nothing more than a tax. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.